Okay, next um, part of the note is calculating the area between graphs. So, so far we've just found the area between a graph and the x-axis, but now we also need to be able to find the area between graphs. So I've written an example down here. It says given the functions f, which is x squared plus 1, so this is a parabola, and g, which is x, so this is the line y equal x, the straight line graph, calculate the area between the two functions in the interval x is an element of 1 to 3. All right, so I'm not going to draw this graph now. I am going to show it to you um, from the answer series book. So you are welcome to draw it if you want. So that is what it looks like, all right? So you can see it's the same two functions that I mentioned, x squared plus one, and then we have x. To calculate the, two, the area between the two graphs in the interval this, now we have this picture, all right? They've given us this picture of these two graphs. If the picture was not given, you would have to draw it yourself. But it would probably probably be a situation where, like, question or part A of the question is to draw the two graphs, and then part B of the question would be to find the area. Or they'll probably give you the graphs if they want you to find this area. Um, so in this case, since we've been given the graphs, we're going from where x is 1 to where x is 3. It's very important that we identify the graph that is above the other one. All right, the graph that it has higher y values than the other one. In this case, we can very clearly see that between 1 and 3, and actually everywhere on these two graphs, but specifically between 1 and 3, the parabola is higher than the straight line graph. Right, so here you could also maybe just do like a rough sketch. If you know x squared plus one, you know that the y-intercept is one and then it's x squared, so it's going up all the way from one. And you know that the graph y equals x has a point at one, one, at two, two, at three, three. So you could figure out without actually drawing the graph to scale and properly, you could figure out that this would be the case. You could figure out that the parabola would be higher than the straight line graph. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, if you think of this as, actually I'm going to draw on here, if you think of this as an entire area, all right? The area between the parabola and the x-axis. How would we find that whole area? We would take the integral of f of x of the parabola between 1 and 3 and that would give us that big area over there but now the shaded area the area between these two graphs is in fact not including that white part all right so if we're finding the area between the parabola and the x-axis and now we want to take away that white part do we agree that this area is the area between the straight line and the x-axis so you can clearly see that that is what they're doing. They're taking the area between the parabola and the x-axis, and then they're subtracting this white area here, the area between the straight line and the x-axis. And that will then actually give us the area between the two graphs. And that's what we're always going to do. Essentially, we're going to take the area, or the integral in this case, of the higher graph, and then we're going to subtract the integral of the lower graph. That will always give us the area of between the two graphs. Okay, so let's do that. Let's actually write that down. So we're going to take, let me say, area is equal to integral from 1 to 3 of x squared plus 1. Remember to use brackets if you have more than one term. And then dx. And then we are subtracting integral of 1 to 3 of x dx. You can put that x in brackets if you want, but you don't have to because it's just one term. And that's what you're going to type into the calculator. Again, very easy. Or you can, if you want, you can write this as one thing. So you can say integral of 1 to 3 of x squared plus 1 minus x dx. All right. These two separate integrals, if you calculate them, will give you the same answer as this one integral. Okay, so 
This would be quicker to type into the calculator if you remembered that this is equal, but you can also just type that straight in. And then when you do that, you will get your answer, which is 20 over three units squared. Okay, now your homework from here is going to be exercise 12.6 from the answer series book again. Now, in the answer series book, if you have it, it is on page 132. And you're going to have to do all of these. It goes from question one to five. Right, you're going to have to find all of those areas. Again, I will post a picture of this on the WhatsApp group. Thanks, guys.